how to use a green screen with an iPhone or iPad. You'll need to purchase a green screen app such as vScope. This is the layout of vScope. It has several features such as a photo and animation mode. You'll mostly spend your time in movie mode. Movie mode is set apart by its ability to record audio. Now to set up your green screen, you'll have to press the setup button and you will have to choose the green screen. There you go, click green. I usually just set this manually by touching the green color and then adjusting it to the color of my screen. As you slide this, you can see it removes the background color of your choice, allowing the background image to appear. That's a good spot. We can also change the strength of how much green we remove. This allows for fine tuning, although it takes a little practice to get it just right. There we go. You can also crop your image to remove anything that is outside the screen clicking on these little bubbles or circles and then just move them to the position you want. Tap in the middle circle and you're back to the original screen. If you have trouble focusing the camera, you can just click there and then click on focus and it'll allow you to focus wherever you want. Mostly you'll choose the central image. You can double tap the same icon to disable the feature. Now let's change the background by tapping the background button. And we'll add a new picture. Click on the picture you like. Adjust the image by moving it up or down or zooming in. And then you'll press OK. Once that's done, you can press close. And then you can select your picture from the bottom of the menu. And there it is. If you tilt your camera, you can move the image. However, keep in mind the limits of your screen. Let's add a new image from a camera roll. Press the plus sign, scroll down to whatever image you want. I want this one right here of a ballpark. Okay. Close. Oh, let's adjust it first. All right. Now we'll press close. Um, I still want to adjust it just a little bit, so I'll click adjust again, and I can zoom in and alter the position as I did before. There we go. Now we'll return back to the menu and you'll press record. When the dot is black, it is recording, and you can see the time that it lapses. When you're done, press the button again, and it'll automatically be saved to your camera roll. And that's it.